Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily Facebook live broadcast, which will be on YouTube shortly, in case you're watching it there. Um, it's my one year anniversary. My God, it's amazing. All right, let me get into this before I get too carried away. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Um... A friend of mine just recently told me that she thought I would really, what she called me was a guardian of the feminine, which is an interesting title. I'm not sure I want to adopt it necessarily, but I certainly feel that's in me. So that was interesting. So I do this talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 365. That is one year's worth of daily broadcasts. And apparently I'm not done yet. I've got plenty more content showing up already. So we'll see where it goes. So today's topic um, is... Um, Hi, Bonnie. Nice to have you here. My topic today is um, don't rush into a relationship unless you plan to rush out. And it's kind of the thing about... Um, I'm going to talk about the love at first sight syndrome. Yes, I call it a syndrome in this context. But also about what isn't necessarily a good approach and what could be a better approach to dating and making a relationship happen. So let me get into that as well. Um... What else? What else? So, yeah, so I'm definitely feeling a bit of this wave of, of energy for this being the one-year anniversary. So it's like, wow, it's kind of cool. I was thinking about doing like a reflection looking back Facebook Live, but I can't remember half the ones I did. Thankfully, they're all stored online on my Facebook page, and I'll tell you about that at the end. So you can watch them all yourself. Um, I want to dig through and find out what the actual dates were, because I know I did some before that. So it's kind of funny to be in this, the end of the year, like having a one-year anniversary of doing these daily talks. It's still blowing me away. But let me get to the topic about rushing into a relationship and rushing out again. Is first of all, there is an actual, um, well, I wouldn't say scientific study, but certainly there is an understanding that if you rush into something, you tend to leave it as quickly as you came in. That's kind of a, a balancing thing. So if you're in a relationship and you rush into it, it's, it can end abruptly too, is what I'm saying. It's basically if you have this relationship start abruptly, it can end abruptly. That's the rushing in part. So rather than doing that, let me offer you some suggestions of how to do it more effectively so you actually get a relationship that lasts. Now, <clears throat> if you don't care about that stuff, then go ahead and keep doing what you're doing, and it'll work for you. That's fine. But if you're looking for a better answer or a better way or a better path, a better solution or an actual um, more effective way of being in a relationship, if you're single right now, listen up, because this may help you. Now, I'm listening too because I don't know what I'm going to say yet, which is why I'm padding a little bit to get the download. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, that happens quite frequently. I don't have a thing to start with. So let me start where I am now, which is this. As I wait for it to show up. Okay. I was waiting for something to show up, and it did. So for many people, maybe not you, um, it certainly was in my history, I, I remember that. So I'm definitely, actually, I need to do this. Sorry, I need to put my earbud there, because apparently there's a problem with my earbud rubbing on my collar, so I wanted to fix that. So... Let's continue. So, whoops, I'm going to yank it out of my ear now. <laughs> Not an effective way of doing my broadcast. So, um, for many people, again, maybe not you, um, I say it isn't me, but it used to be me, so I'll say I'll put myself in the club. There'll be this desire to be in a relationship that was almost a need. It was almost um, a yearning, a frustration and it wasn't even effective because the thing is we wouldn't be happy being single and i'm saying we because i was in that boat now i've been single for almost 11 years because of the work i'm doing and where i'm going i have no energy on that anymore like i did it'd be like being single sucked i want to be in a relationship because that's the best way to be so the first opportunity to jump in a relationship would show up and we'd jump right in and many people i know especially in my younger days sound so old when i say that <laughs> In my in my youth, <laughs> is not working either. Back when I was about twenty something, which I'm not now, as you can probably tell. Um, most of the people I was around and dating, especially for I mean, I say pretty much now for anybody who's in that age range, dating was kind of a jump right in, and get started. Relationships weren't there wasn't a courtship anywhere, and courtship is one of those now old fashioned terms that's missing in a vernacular. And so, relationship is based on, I mean, like a book like The Rules. Or other books that are out there about how to how to get your man, how to get your woman, all these different stories and books out there are really like this <laughs> in, entrapment method. Not pretty. 
Because they're not designed for you to actually open your heart to love. They're actually designed for you to catch the partner, to do the steps required. So you have to do four dates and this and that and the other. Then you go to bed with them. Then you move in and all this sequence. It's like, it's not like that. First of all, no relationship is the same as another relationship. There may be similarities, but they're not the same. And part of the challenge that people face is they look at other people's relationships and they want that themselves. I didn't think, okay, I wasn't planning to go with that. I'm going there anyway. So we look at somebody else and get envious or jealous of what they've got, and we think we want the same thing. First of all, and this I've seen very vividly, is looking at somebody's relationship from the outside gives you absolutely no idea of what's happening behind the scenes. So don't do that. Yes, yes, at <laughs> least entrapment. Some relationship guidance seems like that, that you're going to get that person into your life and you'll be able to control them forever. Yeah, isn't that lovely? So, first of all, there's no comparison. Let's get off that one right off the bat. Secondly, well, if you follow my work, you know that I, I implore and I invite my clients and if you're watching to, to actually get clear about what you want in a relationship, to actually have a sense of what you're looking for before you get there. Because for many people, it's this blind stumbling through life until you bump into someone that feels right and you just get in a relationship. That's a clunky way of doing things. It's and it's, it's it's like you may go through callbacks for an acting job or go through interviews for a job where you go back for second, third, fourth interviews before you get the job, and yet relationship isn't treated within that much weight. Something wrong with that, you know. A relationship, especially if you're looking for a long-term relationship and marriage, even if that's your, if that's your vision, why would you be more casual with that than you are with full-time employment? Or an acting job. I'm in LA, so I know a lot of my friends are actors. It, it doesn't make sense. I, I, th I hope you get the picture. So rather than doing that, put some energy in the front end. Put some energy in, whilst you're single, key, to really, first of all, get clear about what you want. And for, I talked about this a few broadcasts ago, about how, for many people, they don't even know how to enjoy themselves being single. So another part of my recommendation for you I'll, get to, I'll, get, I'll go back to the list of things and how to start creating what you want. Before that is, you start to fall in love with yourself being single. Yes, I said that. Fall in love with yourself. Many people are like, no, 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 no. That, that's narcissist, narcissistic. I don't mean that. I mean, take care of yourself and enjoy being who you are once you're single. Because first of all, you make you way more attractive. And secondly, it means you won't be as needy when you meet somebody in a relationship. It's a win-win-win. Yeah, win-win-win. Just making sure I said that right. So getting back to what I said before about having a vision or getting clear about what you want in a relationship, for most people, it, at best, it may be broad strokes. Um, treat me nice. Um, buy me dinner. <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's a short list. And I'm talking about get clear because if you're looking to have a long-term relationship with somebody, 10, 20, 30 years maybe, lifetime partnership, marriage, whatever that is for you, would it be nice to get clear about what you want to spend your life with before you start? Just a suggestion. To actually have clarity about what you really value, what's important to you, those things that you must have to sustain a healthy relationship. Maybe it is someone, I mean, it depends what your criteria are, but for me it's someone who's committed to a path of growth and, and, and becoming more of who they are because that's what I'm working on and I want someone who's going to join me in that. And if the person I'm, meet, I'm dating and I've been out with a few dates for a while, over a while and discovered there's a difference because <laughs> it's part of my research, is I've met people who have no idea about personal growth, no idea about exploring new horizons, about becoming more themselves, about spiritual partnership, all these things that I'm very passionate about. I'm clear that relationship without that won't work for me. So you've got to clear for yourself what it is for you that's important. It may be lifestyle, it might be health, it might be religion or spirituality, it might be service. It, it's like all the different areas in your life which, you want to, which are important to you would also be ideally important in a relationship. So get clear about what your deal breakers are as well, because there are certain things that will not work. Back to myself. I'm very clear that I'm about monogamy. That's my per preference. I have lots of friends of mine who are in sex positive, polyamory, and that's fine with them. But I, don't, I will not be in partnership with somebody who wants to be in polyamorous relationship. Simple. If that's what they want to do, go ahead and do it. I have no judgment on it. I just want, I don't, don't do that for myself. So... Having clear what your deal breakers are and what you must have, that's a good foundation. I'm sorry, I'm getting myself in the camera here in my hands. Getting clear about what it is that you want, getting clear about what you must have, and getting clear what you definitely don't want. 
is a good framework to start from. Now, I have a program that has a whole bunch of things that create, you create not only a list, but more of a, it builds a feeling experience so that you can have really what you want in a relationship. Because for most people, again, they have no clue. They are just walking through life and they bump into somebody in the street or at a bar or on Tinder and go, they'll do. And that's how they build a relationship that's going to last 20 years. This is part of the reason why I think a lot of divorce rates going up so high. Because people are starting to wake up to the fact that who they're with wasn't what they planned to be with. And they didn't make the wise choice up front. So if you're single, here's a hint. Make a wiser choice. Um, I was going to say something else on that. It went out the window. I'll come back. So for the work I do with my clients, a large part of what I do, part of the work is to heal them, heal their heart, which is getting back to said earlier, about really if you're single, fall in love with who you are. So if you love yourself, appreciate yourself, and be self-supportive before you meet somebody else. It's not their job to support you. Sorry. If you're waiting for that to happen, it ain't. Yes, if they do support you, that's a bonus. But don't go looking for that. Learn how to support yourself, love yourself, appreciate yourself first. Become not in as much independent, but become autonomous to become um, in integrity in a way, because it's being aligned with who you are. Having values that way, having a commitment to yourself and your development will make you more whole and less needy and make you more attractive to the future partner. Again, these are all wins. That's why it's win, win, win. I can give you the basics. I've gone around the circle a couple of times. So don't rush in. Take your time, especially when you're single. One, to love who you are. And secondly, get clear about what you want before you rush into any relationship. Again, compare it to getting a new job or if you're an actor going for an acting job, the commitment to that should not be as much as it is towards relationship because you want to spend partnership with somebody that's going to last 20, 30 years, 40, 50 years. Wouldn't you want to make sure up front you do a better commitment? I think you do. I think I made my point. All right. So that was my 365th <laughs> one-year anniversary Facebook Live. Um... If there's something you want to go deeper on, talk to me, and I'll give you that information in a moment. As I said, all these broadcasts are on my business page on Facebook, so if you want to see all 365 of them, the whole year's worth, and there's more coming because they're going to be back on again tomorrow, um, you can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Um, these also go on YouTube, so you can watch them there if you're a YouTube fan rather than Facebook, and you might be watching this on YouTube, of course. Um, that one is... these sorry, These broadcasts are on my channel which is barry selby my name all my social media is my name which is easy to find and message for the mask the playlist if you are looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> to quote the song um, and want some help in this area i do invite you to check out my website but also to actually sign up for a discovery session with me i call it a complimentary clarity conversation on my website website you go to barry click on let's chat and sign up for a discovery session there and we can talk this is my passion my service my work that's why i've done 365 broadcasts and there's more coming. And I hope you understand this is worth it to you, that your love is important for everybody. And I invite you to take care of yourself, to appreciate yourself, and to love yourself. That's your homework. Okay, I knew I was going to have homework in there somewhere. If you're single or in a relationship, love yourself more than you did yesterday. Take care of yourself, make yourself important in your own life. You'll be more appreciated, and you'll be more appreciative. Yeah, that works. Okay. With that, thank you for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow with another broadcast. That'll be my, my second year beginning with number 366. Um, and I wish you well. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. And if you want to share this with anybody you know, please share it with them. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves.